Hello and welcome to today's League of Legends Roundup where I cover week one, day two in the LPL. We had uh, Rare Adam versus Anyone's Legend and Top Esports versus JD Gaming. I do this series to save you the time of going back and watching a highlight video or a VOD to try and, you know, get what happened. Even highlight videos take longer than what this video will take. So, Rare Adam versus Anyone's Legend. Um, Anyone's Legend, as you see here, blew him out. Uh, kill score isn't the telltale of everything, but 31 to 14 is, I mean, really one sided. Um, game one was slow. Rare Adam took a cloud to start this one off. There would be a fight afterwards that would go one to one. Anyone's Legend would then get a 2v2 kill a minute later. Um, then the 2v2 would continue to be chaotic where the teams would exchange kills a minute later. And then Rare Adam go bot lane again. Um, at nine minutes. So between seven and nine minutes, we had action in the bot lane. At 10 minutes, Rare Adam then would go mid. Anyone's Legend would take a hex tech after getting a pick at 12 minutes, and then the game would slow down from 12 to 20 minutes. Um, Rare Adam taking an Infernal during that time and getting out to a 2k gold lead. Kill score still four to four. At 20 minutes, the game would blow open. Betty with a double. As Anyone's Legend want to fight 3 0 to secure the Baron, that would tie the gold up. During the Baron, Rare Adam would get a pick, which would kind of stall out the Baron. And um, Anyone's Legend would then take an Infernal at 23 minutes. Rare Adam winning the fight 4-3 to three afterwards. Z ZDZ with a double kill to make it palatable. Um, really, honestly, Rare Adam had won that fight outright, like 4-1. to one, But um, ZDZ was able to get a couple kills to, you know, salvage it. Um, and now at 24 minutes after the Baron and this fight after the Infernal, Anyone's Legend are up 10-9 in kills, but Rare Adam have the lead in gold once again at 2k, which, I mean, at 24 minutes is somewhat of a lead, but at the same time, I mean, it's just 2k gold. Um, Betty is 5-2-2 two two at the time on the um, Lucian. 27 minutes, Anyone's Legend would then force and take their second Baron, which would eliminate the gold deficit once more. Rare Adam would then go to Soul Point during the Baron, and then um, uh, Anyone's Legend would then end on the Baron at 29 minutes, 5-0, Betty and ZDZ with doubles each. Now, um, I forgot to mention how the early game went because I said it was 4-4 four four at 19 minutes. That was when the first turret was taken. It took 19 minutes to do so. During... The early portions of game one, Rare Adam were more active. They attempted three plays where they would get two successes. Successes to me are kills that are not even one for one, not a trade, an outright, you know, advantage, champion advantage. Obviously, if somebody goes and gets a flash or whatever, yeah, you won, like, you micro won the exchange or whatever. But um, I don't, you know, count that as an outright win. That's getting very technical. Um, anyone's Legend did attempt to play and fail. Um... On the power play, Anyone's Legend had two Barons like we went over and uh, were successful on the second, where Rare Adam didn't have any. Now in game two, uh, Anyone's Legend would throw the first punch at five minutes going bot lane and then returning in bot lane at eight minutes. So in the early portions of the game, Anyone's Legend wanted to go after bot, similar to how game one in the early portions bot lane was a um, hot topic for both teams. Anyone's Legend would use this Pryo in bot lane to take a Mountain. Rare Adam then at 10 minutes would go 2-0 in top. Take an Infernal. 16 minutes, there's a skirmish in the river that would go 2-2. Forge with a double. Forge ends up being MVP. He played Swain in both games. He did very well. Um, it was kind of hard to pick an MVP in this series, in my opinion. At 18 minutes, laning phase would end. Anyone's Legend up 5-4. Rare Adam, once again, has a gold lead despite being down in kills. RA up 2.5k, Forge is 3-0-1. During laning phase, Anyone's Legend were 2-for-2 two two on their attempts to make a play. Rare Adam 0-for-1. 18 minutes, Anyone's Legend would win a fight in top 2-1. Betty with a double. They would then take a cloud later on. Um, at 21 minutes, Anyone's Legend would then take a Baron, winning a fight 3-0, uh, giving themselves a slight gold lead. So now between... 18 minutes where Rare Adam had a 2.5k gold lead and 21 minutes the gold had flipped 4k going from Rare Adam 2.5 to Anyone's Legend 1.5. During the Baron Anyone's Legend would get a pick and then at 25 minutes end in the river 5-1 Betty with a triple. Um, Forge more so of a um, 
facilitator in this role with Swain, racking up assists, dealing damage, maybe not give, dealing the finishing blow, but doing very well. He was ahead on um, movement for mid, ensuring that Strive was not able to get out of mid lane. Um, good game all around. I mean, I could have picked Betty because he had all the kills, but I don't really think that that was, um, you know, as impactful as Forge. And even Chow Chow and Bot, um, he pulled out a Bard in game two. And actually, at five and eight minutes, the um, ganks were through tunnels. And it was like obvious plays where um, Rare Adam were too overextended and he was legend punish them. And it's like, I don't think RA really expected the Bard at all because they weren't even prepared for what the Bard was going to do. And everybody plays against Bard. They know what Bard can do. But evidently, it had been so long so long since the rare Adam um, bot lane had seen it, they allowed it to punish them twice and the game just got out of hand after that. So anyone's legend beats rare Adam 2-0. We have two teams that are towards the middle to the bottom of the standings. And this could be a big 2-0 for anyone's legend when it comes to playoff time, when we're trying to decide who is, you know, in the playoffs and who's not. Now top in JDG, we have a three game series here, definitely back and forth. Um, all three games blowouts, but back and forth nonetheless. Um, game one, JDG, this was the Kanavi show on the Wukong. He was disgusting. Um, he would solo kill Tien at eight minutes, so he had a slow early game where first blood would come at eight minutes. Um, nine minutes, GD, JDG would win a fight for Rift Herald 2-0. Um, two minutes later, Kanavi would go top lane and solo kill Wayward. Uh, top said, fine, if you're in top lane, solo killing Wayward, we'll take a mountain. Uh, 12 minutes, laning phase would end, JDG up 4-0, 3.5k gold. Kanavi, 3-0-1 on the Wukong. During laning phase, top would not attempt to make a play, where JDG were 1-1, one for one, which was that one solo kill by Kanavi on Wayward. 13 minutes, JDG get a pick. There's a skirmish in mid that goes 1-1. One one. They take a cloud. And the game just starts snowballing. JDG get another pick. They go bot. Um, they get another pick. Top go bot. JDG go top um, at 20 minutes. JDG then take an infernal. And at 22 minutes, JDG are up 8-2. to two. Gold is 3K. Kanavi is 6 0 and one So despite JDG getting all these kills, getting these picks and things like that, top are able to just get like ooh, a turret here. Um, maybe a Rift Herald here. I don't really recall if they got second Rift Herald, but nevertheless, that's the comeback mechanics in the game coming to fruition with the bounties and things like that. Um, 23 minutes, Wayward would solo kill 369. Um, a one for one in the end. 369 would return the favor in this series. 25 minutes, JDG take a Baron after winning a fight 5-1. Yagal with the triple. That puts him up 7K gold. Two minutes later, JDG with the Baron win a fight in top 2-0. And then win a fight 2-0 in the top base. Kind of how this game ended. It was almost like a, a base race. But I don't know why top were attempting a base race really. Um, they're trying to exchange. Uh, top were pushing against the Baron in, in top lane. And JDG answered going 2-0. And they couldn't hold back the three members of JDG and Bot. Who had a Baron pushing and ending. <clears throat> so uh, 28 minutes they end. Final score of that game, 18-4. to four. Like I said, a blowout in all three of these games. Um, during that game, JDG would end um, shortly, a few seconds after the uh, power play subsided. Game 2, another slow early game. Top would open it up in bot lane, getting a kill at 7 minutes. They'd use that prior to take ocean. they get another kill in the river. 12 minutes, uh, Top would get two kills in the top lane. Tian with both. Tian was a very important and integral part of game two. So both junglers in game one and game two, key carries. Um, 15 minutes, Tian would get another double kill as part of a 3-0 team fight win to get a cloud. Laning phase ends at 16 minutes with top up 7-0, 5K gold. Tian is 4-0 and 3 on a Viego. Yeah, on a Viego. So they're running away with this, a 5K lead already at 16 minutes. Um, top attempted one play and it would fail. JDG as well attempted a play and failed. Um, a play being a gank diver roam where they were in and outnumbered. They had the numbers but couldn't get it done. Um, 18 minutes, there's a skirmish in mid that goes one-to-one. -one. Then JDG get another kill in mid. So they kind of try and crawl back into it. 
However, top would go to Hex Hex All Point and at 21 minutes win a fight in the jungle 2-1. to one. Um, At 24 minutes now, top were up 10-3, 4K gold, TN 4-1 and 5. Like I said in game 1, you know, there were periods in these games where um, the team behind were able to utilize comeback mechanics to kind of cut into gold leads a bit. And JDG had a, a tiny bit during um, this window of 16 to 24 minutes. However, um, Top were still definitely ahead. At 25 minutes, uh, Top would take the soul, winning a fight 4-3, wayward with a triple. Then three minutes later, they would take a Baron, JDG deciding not to fight the Baron and instead killing wayward in the side lane. Um, you know, they kind of just had to, you know, pick their battles. And uh, Top were up 6K. They would use that. <coughs> they would use that Baron to end. Excuse me, getting a kill on top, and then at 30 minutes, ending 5-0. Um, final score 20 to seven. So another game where we it wasn't really close in the mid game. The team from behind was able to kind of cut very slightly into the deficit, but not enough. Um, game three, our shortest game of the day. Uh, JDG would actually start this one off. This was all about hope. I didn't write Hope's name down. I completely overlooked putting down the MVP for this series. It is Hope. And you're going to say to yourself, you haven't mentioned Hope at all. No, I haven't. It was Kanavi and Tian. Those were the two carries in those games outright. Um, but Hope, he was a menace on the Lucian in Game 3. Um, so at four minutes, they outplay a bot dive. I don't know why Top attempted this dive, a four-man dive. Um, Jack, they... JDG had played it perfectly. They had gotten Jackie Love low, and they had gotten Mark low. So, Top are still committed to this dive, despite Draven being, like, dead, pretty much. And, in the end, Hope gets a double kill, two for one. Then, at six minutes, JDG get a couple more kills, Bot taking Infernal. At seven minutes, JDG go 2v2 and Bot getting both kills, Hope getting two more. So, within the first seven minutes... They're running away with this. Nine minutes, top go mid, but laning phase ends. A minute later, JDG up 6-2, 2.5k gold. Hope is 5-1-1. One, one. During laning phase, JDG are 0-1 on their attempts to make a play. Um, top are 0-1 as well because they attempted that dive that went terribly. At 11 minutes, JDG went a fight in mid 3-1. That leads to an ocean. 14 minutes, 369 pays back Wayward with a solo kill, 369 on a Gragas, Wayward on a Kale. Um, in game one, Wayward was on a Gwen, and um, 369 was on a set. Yeah, we had a set top today. Um, so at 15 minutes now, JDG are up 10, 3, 5K gold. Hope is 6, 1, and 3. So between 10 and 15 minutes, the gold lead has doubled for JDG. 16 minutes, JDG win a fight in top 2-0. They get another kill in top a minute later. They then go to Mountain Soul Point. 19 minutes, they get a couple more picks. They are just running away. I'm talking like this because they are running away with this game. It's snowballed. My speaking has snowballed. At 21 minutes, JDG take a Baron 3-0 to get that Baron. 12.5k gold lead. They then push a bit in mid, get a kill. Pseudo reset at 14k to go try and get Mountain Soul Point outright and uh top try and fight them for that obviously because the game is lost and jdg win five up five to one hope with the double in that fight final score 25 to four just a complete and utter um beat down by the bot lane the lucian nami bot lane can be nasty if it gets ahead that's why people are picking it and um it got ahead big time in game three um jdg end on that one baron the only baron of that game so you know, Hope ends up being MVP. It was game three. In my opinion, when you look at a three-game series, game three is all that really matters when it comes to picking an MVP um, because, well, shoot. I mean, this person is the decider for this series. It was one-to-one, -one, a clean slate, best of one. Um, so comment down below with an opinion of your own. How did you think this Hop and JDG series went? Uh, what do you think of anyone's legend versus rare Adam? You know, uh, like the video if you like it, subscribe to the channel for daily League of Legends content. Later today, I'm going to have my LCS video out where I'm probably going over TSM. Um, I'm going to have an LEC video out. Well, I have an LEC video out already on my channel for Mad Lions. Um, I have to film one for tomorrow. Um, and then 
I'm going to have my preview out where I'm going to be covering tomorrow's games in the LPL because that's the only series, um, well, the only region playing, where I do a short preview video. I think yesterday's was only five minutes long, so it's not going to be overly long. And um, there you can predict how you think the series is going to go. Um, we go over maybe like the key players and things like that going into the game. You know, just a little sneak peek preview series or whatever. And um, in there, you'll see at the top comment, I am ha I'm putting up standings for those that predict scores. Um, so if you want to play along, play along. Thank you for watching, and I hope you come back for more content.